been a lot of speculation surrounding Tidal Rave 2022. I had my first year of it. I experienced a lot. Now, here is a vlog about my first experience at the 2022 Tidal Rave. Looking so fly, see Jackie say, young YouTuber, always on the tube, trying to make a living. Never gonna freaking stop, no way, ain't nobody stopping her, no way. Yes, no way, always in the zone, always in the prime zone, king of queens, looking like a pro. Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of She Jackie Says, and yes, we are here with another video. <laughs> Hello. So we are going to your the entire way, entire way. What's cooking? What's popping? As the assassination. Let me take that again. What's cooking? What's popping? As the assassination. As the fam. It's your girl. She Jackie says. And today, in in today's vlog, it's all about my first experience at the Tidal Rave. Yes, you heard me right. So, if you're wondering what Tidal Rave is, it's like an, a beach event festival in Ghana. And I'm going with these cool peeps. So we are currently at um, Tuba Junction waiting on a boat to take us to the Kokoro Bite Beach and that's why we are still here. So currently it's like 3.50 now. There's, they said the event starts at 12, right? So it's 12. I'm hoping to get there in time. But that's literally the party is starting in the evening and all that. So I'm taking you guys along through the video. Yeah. So as I said earlier, we were on our way to the luxury beach resort. So initially we thought it was Croco Beach. Beach. Um, I probably had to check the flyer well, but we ordered for a boat to the location. So my friends and I, we obviously couldn't fit into one car. So we had to take like two different boats to the location. We first went to Croco Beach, Beach, that whole area, and we were informed that um, that wasn't the location of the event so we had to this was initially the road that we took so we had to turn back because it was like how come there's going to be like all these big RTs going to be using this road so we obviously had to turn back and use the actual route which is the luxury beach resort looking so fly see jack says young youtuber always on the tube trying to make a living never gonna freaking stop no way ain't nobody stopping her no way yes no way always in the zone always in the prime zone king of queens looking like a pro killing every show with no stress dark skin girl looking so fly sjs family with the strength of a woman she jackie say with the power of a woman she jackie says everywhere she goes every day she jackie says looking so we finally got to the luxury beach like en route closer to the hotel beach resort however way you want to put it but there was mad traffic. Obviously, people were coming in from all over Ghana, people with different places coming for just the Tidal Rave because Tidal Rave is a big event. Initially, it has always been three days. I think 2019, I used to see highlights and it was three days. But this year, they are trying to merge everything into one. So this year, 2022, that Tidal Rave was just like one day. So with regards to security, it was okay um, when we entered for the first time. You go through several security checks. They check you for if you have anything that's not supposed to be in your bag. Um, check your body and everything before you enter. So this was like the second check-in where, where we got to. So our tickets, I don't know if all the tickets in, in its entirety were like e-tickets. Um, but we had ours like online. I don't know if entirely it was all online tickets. So this was us getting checked. And afterwards, after here, you show them your e-tickets for them to scan it before you actually get into the actual arena of where the whole event was actually happening. she jackie says and you're all welcome back to the sjs vlog where we talk about fashion lifestyle and entertainment FJ. so today with the strength of a woman she jackie says with the power of a woman she jackie says everywhere she goes every day she jackie says with the strength of a woman she jackie says with the strength of a woman she jackie says with the power of a woman she jackie says everywhere she goes every day she jackie says looking so fly 
Jackie says, young YouTuber, always on the tube, trying to make a living. Never gonna freaking stop, no way. Ain't nobody stopping her, no way. Yes, no way. Always in the zone, always in the prime zone. King of Queens, looking like a pro, killing every show with no stress. So just in case I didn't show my friends full attire, there you go. They were looking on fleek, they were looking great, they were ready and poised for the whole tidal rave energy. So first thing I wanted to do was to get water and this was like my shock at Tidal Rave. It was sold for five Ghana cities and I was like, whoa. So it was just up to me to embrace myself a lot more because if water had started at five Ghana cities, I drank like four to three to four bottles of water that night. So like making it 20 Ghana cities, I was apparently shocked. So this is a friend of mine who sells tattoo stickers. If you know me, I love tattoos permanent semi-permanent either ways i love hina and everything so i took friends there to go get some there were a lot of other vendors too food drinks ice cream a lot more a lot more vendors at the tidal rave so this was when the program was about to start i was at the cool peeps then because the friends i went with were all from cool peeps and i had joined them so this was where they were the party had already started with the djs all pulling through and the mcs trying to make the whole place live <laughs> Now, apparently, as I said earlier, the party has already started. Now, this is where my issues started to come in. Now, you realize there were like a lot of screens around this whole stage and the title rave organizers definitely knew that anytime their show is up, there are a lot of people who are going to come. But I realized these screens that they had was not projecting anything from the stage. So those at the back found it very difficult to see. It was very difficult because I was in front and I couldn't stand there. I was You, you could see that I was a bit closer to the stage then. And while I was closer, the sound, I was hearing it within me. So I had to move away and go back to the crowd. So first performance was Darko Vibes. He came... Um, performance rating are uh, probably rating like six over ten. I couldn't even see him properly. <laughs> and can suck. You can see Sark here on the stage doing his thing. Of course, dressing on point, song on point. Sark is king. So he did the second like performance. Now that was also Jackie. After Saturday, we had Jackie perform. Now, if you don't know Jackie, then I don't know who you are here in Africa. But Jackie is one of the biggest artists we have here in Ghana, female musician. Songs are like on point and dope too. So one thing was, we all saw the artists on the Tidal Rave flyer. We saw our 2 bs we saw Sarko there, we saw Black Sharif, we saw Jackie. But what we didn't see coming was Kitty. Yes, we were there when like lights went off, then boom, Kitty was on stage. So Kitty was a surprise act. Or well, apparently, I might have missed out a flyer on Kitty. Just let me know down below if you also went and probably you saw a flyer of Kitty. But I thought Kitty was like a surprise act. <laughs> So yeah, because of copyright-ish, I can't be posting the full videos of the musicians performing at the Tidal Rave. But here are highlights, like just giving guys the highlights of the whole thing. Because I can't just be doing voiceovers without giving you guys snippets of your performance. Yeah. Kwaku, you say killer, Kwaku, killer. 
Now that was Blacko's epic intro, which caused a lot of people emotional. Now Blacko is like the big ish right now in the world. The issue that we all had with this performance was the fact that it got to a point where sound wasn't working. It's like I felt they did Blacko dirty. He couldn't perform most of his songs and there was a sound cut. Most of us couldn't see. A lot of us were there. I was there basically because of Blacko and Jackie. You get it but it got to a point where the sound wasn't working that black hole had to leave the stage so he didn't finish work performing then it was after his performance that was when like literally he was ending the show <laughs> So now I had even wanted to leave during Blacko's performance, but I wanted him to end it all, which was very short. So Blacko didn't perform for more than I think twenty minutes. <laughs> no, it wasn't up to. He performed less. The time was short because of the the sound cut. Now this was us done with the events. Now there was this human traffic. We realized that the bridge that leads to the entrance, it was broken, so we couldn't pass through. Others had to use the mini boats that was over there. It took us about um, 40, 30 to 40 minutes just to get to the entrance because of the human traffic that was there. So it delayed in us getting back because where I was coming from was very, very far. So this was whilst we were done. Getting a cab back became a problem people lost i lost my microphone i've lost i lost money people were quashed and a lot more a lot of things happen a lot of things that you're hearing about the tidal reef i think like 99.9 percent .9 is true but in all it was worth it it was such an amazing experience i feel next time a lot of measures need to be put in place once you're done with this program like no car so you need to psych your mind up that after this program you're going to be working if you have a car there's going to be human traffic and all of that so that was my 2022 tidal rave experience and share yours to share yours in the comment section i see your favorite girl she jackie says your hostess with the mustache bringing you the hottest the juiciest and i am out peace guys looking so fly she jackie says